Quick backstory, 10 months ago, me and my boy Pablito started working on a small little project called Generic Prison Game. It's about as what you'd expect. A very generic jailbreak ripoff. No, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, it's a prison game. So uh, during the game's existence, we've accumulated about 50,000 Robux, and today my goal is to make the most shittiest ads imaginable and see how well they do. In other words, <laughs> I'm probably putting our game into bankruptcy and we're going homeless. So I mean, this is how it went down. Basically, for the ads, I have a couple of ideas. Um, if you're familiar with the ads that are currently going around Roblox, it's just basically. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna try to recreate some of that. I really don't know if it will work out, but for this idea, let's proceed. Let's uh, just let's just uh, go to Google, uh, search a flamingo. That, that is the wrong flamingo. Okay, wait. Flamingo avatar. Okay, let's just get the first avatar we see. It's gonna be one of those uh, flamingo play the game. Oh my god, I'm crying. I, I am having a divorce. Now that we got flamingo, this this ad will absolutely suck. It will have zero work put into it. Let's just try. Okay, let's let's just try to make this as awful as possible for every child to see and enjoy and see like the best image of their lives ever. Okay, we got flamingo here. Now let's add a. Uh, for the situation, let's make flamingo say. I actually fuck. Wait. I absolutely hate this game. <laughs> yeah, let's just make him say that. He might have said it. He might have not said it. I mean, if it actually, if he played it, he'd probably have that opinion. I, I, I wouldn't blame him to be honest. Like you, of course, need a large green button to press for every like seven-year-old to just see it. Oh my God, big, big green button, big green button. Alert, alert! I have no mercy for children today. I, <laughs> if you see a big green button, you have like two choices. Yes. Or yes, the thing that differentiates this ad from every other lame trash ad is uh, the clickbait arrow. <laughs> a like before the clickbait arrow, ad click for rate would have been like 0 0.00005. Now it's 100%. <laughs> oh yeah, and since Flamingo absolutely hates this game, we gotta we gotta make him sad. We gotta make him the saddest man ever. <laughs> <laughs> there is no other way. Oh god, this looks so terrible. Oh my god. And we are paying like 30,000 Robux for this. Whenever the game gets mentioned, he just... <laughs> Alright, it's pretty safe to say this ad is done and, and it's a masterpiece. Now it's time to make the second ad. It may not top the first ad we made, but it, it will be absolutely astonishing nonetheless. I'll just quickly import this handsome man from our game. Uh, let's call him Bob. Okay, Bob is... Here's Bob. Bob is a handsome, self-sustaining individual. I mean, the only issue in his life was him committing several acts of homicide in the state of Ohio. But I mean, other than that, I mean, he, he's a good man. He's a good man. He did nothing wrong. Look at this face. Does this face look like someone that did something wrong? No, absolutely not. I'll now reveal what I wanted to do with this ad. Drum roll, please. <laughs> and here we got it. Bob comes up to you. Do you run or kiss? <laughs> I don't know what I was smoking when I was making this app, but like, my expectations are for everyone to press kiss because his face alone is legit the most seductive thing ever, man. And here's the finished result. All right, last but not least, we got the last data. Basically, this is going to be one of those. Uh, I, I spent $200. Please join game, basically. I'm just going to put on a little twist on here. All right, it's done. Basically, um, you, you can just read it. I I don't I don't gotta explain it to you. It's a simple ad, but it, but it, it gets your eyes. You know, like the the fifty epileptic colors alone just get every single little Timmy's attention. We'll basically see how the ads do. I mean, after all, I'm putting in we're we're putting in like wait how much like forty thousand robots. That's a lot. So uh, we'll see. I mean, uh, it might go terribly. It might go really well. Okay. In, in other news, I got a warning for a reason inappropriate offensive items cube. Okay. Here's 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 like the cube on the screen. This is the item I got warned for. Roblox clearly hated something about that. I mean, was it like a like a cube of coke? What was I doing? Like some illegal drug trades through that one image of a rectangle? I don't know, man. But I mean, Roblox clearly saw a problem there, and they treated it with respect, and they did their best, man. I I pre I appreciate you guys. The moderation team, ten out of ten, man. Ten out of ten. Well, now is the part where I show you how everything went down. <laughs> and no oh boy, is this alright? So listen. So Friday came and. We decided to drop the first batch of ads on Friday night and see how it goes. I had to make a couple of changes to the current ads we got because apparently kissing is an illegal Satanist plot on Roblox. I, I really don't know why. With some of the ads changed, we were ready to go. We dropped 25k Robux that day. 10k for these two ads and 5k for the Bob ad. This is a mistake.
Oh god, uh, what did I do? We bid lower for the Bob ad, because we honestly thought the ad will get rejected by Roblox moderation, and we lose like a shit ton of Robux. Which is funny, because the absolute opposite happened. <laughs> You'll see what I mean. Now with the ads up and running... And it only took five years, yo. All we had to do is just lay back and wait. We got a bit of players the first day, and nothing too serious, you know. Our click rate was surprisingly decent at first. But then disaster struck. The freaking flamingo ad got taken down for clickbait. What would a normal sane person do in this situation? Probably call it a day. And would drop with whatever they got, right? Well... <laughs> We did the absolute opposite. We just pumped out even more ads, spending like another 20k robux the next day. Everything was going alright. The cloopery was off the roof, actually. We were flying in heaven, but then <laughs> the moderation team strikes again, snapping us back to reality and deleting yet another ad. This time, the free robux one with absolutely zero warning. I was probably like one warning away from getting myself like a free day ban or even worse. Now I can never play Roblox again or even create terrible content for you guys. Funny thing is that only ad that was actually left to lie was the ad that we thought was gonna get deleted in the first place. At this point, I was pissed, depressed, about to drop a sperm whale on Roblox headquarters. Player cam was logically dropping again, and we almost went back to zero. We had barely anything left. I was already filling out the McDonald's job application form and getting ready to flip burgers 7 to 5, but then... 600, 605 playing. No. What? How did this happen? My boy, Kucha wants to play, posted a video about our game out of completely nowhere. I felt like I was either in a fever dream or snorted a rectangle of coke, cause holy shit was I like, confused and hyped. The fact that we were almost at 650 players at one time and the steady like 100 to 400 the whole week was absolutely insane. I mean, barely any of the players actually spoke English, but who cares, we got the dub. So in conclusion, was it worth it? Yes. Was it actually gonna work in a McDonald's if not for this? Yes. Did I piss my pants? Yes. Anyways, boys, it was a blast making this video. Game links in the description. Also, make sure to join my Discord server too, because it honestly feels like the motherfucking Sahara Desert in there, so you know. Anyways, see ya. My boy, Coochie wants to. F I actually just said Coochie. Okay, fuck.